Welcome to our Welcome Back to KTW Planning and Budgeting. And in today's How Do We Play video, we will be doing my roll challenges, which are my 100 rolls, pick your path, which are just my pick your path challenges. There we go. That's the right word. So we'll be doing the 100 rolls, the 52 week pick your path challenge, and the 26 week pick your path challenge. So I'm going to go through each of them, what you will need, and how to play them. All right, for the 100 rolls, pick your path, you're going to need a percentile die and a d10. The percentile die has two zeros on it, and those zeros are actual zero. They are zero. This is the highest amount on this dice is 90. Now the zero on the d10 is 10. It's not zero. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when you roll and say you roll a 10 or say you roll a zero, that means you rolled 10. So these two together will equal a hundred if you roll a 90 and a zero on that one. That's a hundred. So how you play is say you gonna, you're going to roll. You guys have seen me play this one. If you watch my videos, see, so 32. Now, there's two ways to play this. You can choose your own path, which is if I rolled the 32, I'd put it into the one roll, and then I'd write 30 and the two there, which is just, I'll show you. I'd go 32, and 30, and two. Or, since I rolled 32, I'd find roll 32, which is right here, and put in 32. 30, and a two. There you go. And that is how you play the 100 rolls, pick your path. Super easy to play once you get it at the hang of the dice and once you choose which path you're going to take. Because on the back page, you'll see down here where it says choose your own fate. And this is the 550, the usual amount. You just go about it. Or let the dice choose your fate, and then you have a mystery ending total. And we all know that I like my mystery ending totals, so there's that one. Okay, and into this one. This one is a bit different, and so is the 26 week one. For this one, you will need a D two D20s and a D12. Now, because there's three dice instead of two, you will need to put in, the lowest number you can get is three. So you would need to put in for week one and week two, or any two numbers on this sheet, because you're not gonna roll them otherwise. But if you're going to roll and choose your own, and let the dice choose your fate, so we got 19, 13, and two. Math. Nope. I don't have my calculator close by. Crap. Okay, hold on. 15, 29. Okay, so we have 29. So I just, I put the 29 in here. 29. And write in 19, 13, and 2. See? It's that simple. And then you color it in when you're done. Or say I rolled, see, 29. I would go find week 29. And I put in 29, and I put in again 19, 13, 2. Which is what you rolled. <clears throat> so that's how that one is played. Now the 26 week challenge. 26 week challenge is done with a d20 and a d6. You, again, the lowest number you can get is two, so you need to do one of the weeks. Decide on which one you want to do. If you want to bang out the biggest one, go for it. If you want to bang out the lowest one, go for it. But if you're going to roll and choose your own fate, which is going to be the 351, then you roll. Got 10. So I'd go to week 10, put in, and I rolled a 9 and a 1. Nope, wrong place. One. There we go. Or, if say I rolled a 10 and it's the first week, I would go $10, 9, and 1. 
and I'd say the ten jewelists. So those are how that those are how that's played. That is how that's played. <clears throat> those are my hundred roll or my roll choose your own path, pick your path challenges. Made the damn challenges. You think I could speak them? My god. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do all the things and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye now.